Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. Today's video tutorial is a Windows 7 tutorial, my first ever. And this one is about that cool new Windows Virtual XP mode that everyone's been talking about and is just been recently released for the release candidate of Windows 7. And that's what I'm running right here is Windows 7 release candidate. And um, I'm going to show you exactly what that Virtual XP mode is, what it does, and how to install it. So I have it running right here. This is it. It's very simple. It's just a pretty much stripped down version of Windows XP. And you can go to the start menu and do stuff like that. Go into the internet. I've downloaded Firefox on here already. And that's pretty much it. You can run it like a normal virtual machine. The coolest thing about this though is the ability to do a sort of VMware fusion sort of thing. If any of you have ever seen that, on a Mac, you have the ability to run like just Windows of um, applications in a compatibility mode. And that's exactly what's available here as well. I have a shortcut right here to the virtual Windows XP edition. It's not like an edition, it's just this is what's installed on the virtual machine that I just showed you. And I can run it in its own window. As you can see, it just initializes the virtual environment. And give it a second and it will come up with Mozilla Firefox running in the Windows XP shell and I can expand it and look at it and it works just like normal and you can do this with any application and it's especially useful for ones that are incompatible with Vista or Windows 7 because they'll run perfectly on Windows XP. So now that that's done and I've showed you what it's like, now I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows 7 Release Candidate and how it works. So. First thing you're going to need to do is go to this page, um, this is Windows Virtual PC page, the link will be in the description of course, and uh, you just need to follow these simple instructions, you need to download two things, you need to select your Windows 7 system type, I'm running 32-bit, and your uh, language that you want to be in the Windows XP mode, and click download Windows Virtual PC Beta, and that will download, and that takes a quite a long time, I think. If one of these takes a long time, I remember. Then the other one you need to download, and once you have them both, you can open up your downloads folder where you have you saved them to, and you'll have these two files. First thing you need to do is run this one, and it will install an update through Windows Updater to your system. Second thing you need to do is run this, and it'll install it, and it's really simple. And that'll take a good long time, but once you're done with that, you will have the option to start up your virtual machine. So you can go ahead and start it up, and it will take a long time to start up the very first time. It'll it'll take a while and be like, you know, setting up features, blah blah blah. But once that's done, you'll come up with a window like this, and it will log you on automatically with the information you entered. And you can access the desktop, or once you install stuff on here, open things in Windows. So this has been a tutorial by Case of End Rules, pretty simple one, just showing you what it's like, what it's about. And the main reason that I wanted to show you this is just because there's been a lot of hype about it and I just wanted to show everyone what it's all about. And um, I just want to say to Microsoft, good job, it's a, it's a really great idea, something important they needed to do. This will definitely help Windows XP junkies move up from XP to 7 because they'll still be able to run their applications without any problems, so it's, it's good stuff. So thank you for watching this tutorial by Case of Man Rules, and I will see you guys next time.